Hey, this is Riley. I'm doing a different type of video today just to talk about something different because I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos about above about above ground pools. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Um, sorry, I don't know how to work my phone, but this is an Intex above ground pool. It's two and a half feet high and 12 feet in diameter. So um, I've had a lot of issues with this and I'll say that I bought it off Facebook Marketplace and I thought it was gonna be something really easy to do, just throw it in the backyard, fill it up, but uh, that has not been the case. So one of the issues we've had is with leveling it. So we had to level it out, kind of dig down underneath. Uh, this is the high side, so this is where uh, the poles have gone in deeper. And then on the other side was where they kind of stayed on the ground. But you'll notice now that they're kind of all in the ground because we've got one side where that little rubber ducky is sitting is, is our low side. So I got it all to a point where it was level. And uh, now this side, we just got a bunch of rain, has sunk in. And I'm not sure how to lift it back up because now the, the PVC pipes are like at a 45, well, not a 45, but they're at an angle, not a 90 degree anymore. So I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna put some bricks under it or if that'll work. One of the main problems with it not being level is a lot of air seems to get into the pump and uh, we've had it turn green, had the chemicals be off because then the filter just doesn't, uh, you know, spread through the entire pool. And again, can already tell the water's not moving super well. Um, so another issue we had was uh, two tears happened in it. So I don't know if you can see, but we had to get a repair kit uh, for that spot right there. And then another spot towards the wall. Um, I don't think you can see that. But um, yeah, so I'm really hoping that it will last at least through the summer, but with one side sinking, I don't really know if it's gonna make it. And I kind of regret getting this even though I thought $100 was a great deal but it's obviously cost a lot more to keep fixing it and I'm getting more and more frustrated as the time goes on so um, if you know anything about pool care or care to give me some tips I'd be happy to hear them uh, well I know that a lot of people put sand under theirs but we were trying to go the cheap route but um, at this point I've already drained the pool once I don't want to drain it again trying to save it uh, as much as I can. So, yep, thanks for listening to my pool talk. Peace.